all sweat Northwestern. So, Coach, smiles on your faces. That's always good to see. Mm -hmm. Obviously, another hard fought yeah. match tonight. You know, you gotta be, you gotta be tired. What's what's going through your mind right now? I'm just really um, proud of our girls and how we played the last three days. And um, I think what we did on the court was really special, regardless of the outcome in any of the matches. I thought each one of the matches we did exactly what we wanted to do over here, which is just play. Um, with a lot of joy and not be worried about the scoreboard and just let that take care of itself. So just really thankful to Whitewater and the host. You guys have been outstanding. It's been fun. We've made a lot of friends. <laughs> <laughs> and so we just really appreciate it. And hats off to Bethel. I mean, they're an incredible team and they played a great match. And it'll be exciting to see what they do next week at the Elite Eight. Lydia, one of three seniors, um, a lot of great memories in your time here in Northwestern, but talk about the impact that the volleyball program has had on your career. Oh gosh, it's easily changed my life, and that's like an understatement. And um, I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm crying because it's sad, I'm sad it's over, but it was just, this week has been so like incredible to see how young <coughs> teammates can step up and really prove themselves, and how my fellow seniors can step up and really prove themselves, and how people can just be um, serving each other. Um, on the sidelines and like our bench is crazy they're always encouraging us and it's really cool to see and just how we've responded to um, playing really hard teams but we just are coming out fighting and coming out with just like loving each other and working really hard and it's really cool to see and um, like coach said just Bethel played a great game and it's cool to see two Christian schools from the same area playing for the championship and then one of them going there and tonight we talked about how that's just I mean we know the Lord's name is being known no matter what and that's all that matters so that's what we're really happy about. Sinead, Lydia touched on it, but what was it like playing against Bethel? You know, you travel six hours, you know, out here, and you're playing at a school that's only two miles away from the campus in, in Northwestern there. Right. I think it was amazing how that worked out and a testimony to how what, how many upsets there were. Um, I think it was a really awesome opportunity, as Lydia said, to be able to play another team that um, wants the Lord's name to be known. And ultimately, that was our goal this week. And we just want to glorify God through volleyball, and it's an amazing vehicle to do that. So I'm um, really happy for Bethel, and we really want them to succeed, and we'll be happily looking to see how they do in the NBA. And Coach, uh, fi one final question for you, the seniors, um, the legacy that they'll leave here, and the, um, the impact that they made as leaders and captains, if you could just touch on, on the three seniors. Yeah, it's, it's really hard to put it all in words. I mean, Lydia has been one of the most unselfish players in our program. Um, you ha we haven't seen her much on the court until this season as a regular starter, and she's stuck with our program mm -hmm. and been committed um, and been one of the hardest workers on our team, and she finished her career as all-tournament <laughs> at the NCAA tournament in the regional final, and that's pretty incredible. <laughs> Beth, Lizzie um, came in, got demoted to JV her sophomore year, stuck with it, was our starter last year, lost her spot this year and her quote was whatever makes the team better coach I just want to do that and then Faith who came in um, with her dad passing away literally a week before our season started and to watch her heal and, and go through that um, as a freshman and then kind of turn into this strong woman of character who has been able to carry us where she came from as a freshman has just been really encouraging so each three I mean such different stories but really cool to see um, the last four years it's always hard to let them go, but at the same time we know that they're ready for bigger things and that um, they'll be used out um, with other people and it's just exciting to see what, what they'll have in store for them next. So just really thankful for them. Thank you to the three of you and congrats on a great season. Thanks. Congratulations. <laughs>